Hey everybody, it's Chad Warren from the adventurerchannel.com slash blog. I am so glad to virtually see you. So today I am here with you. It is Sunday 18 a.m. Central Time because I care. I care about independent media because you darn sure aren't going to get the truth off of YouTube TV and CBS and Fox News and Hootie Doos. You're not going to get it much in alternative media because media and the word you know, like uh, I grew up a Christian, John 1, 1, God is the Word, and the Word is God. And I'm not talking about thumping a Bible that some Mason, James Bible. I'm talking about frequency, the Word, the logic, the logos. You know, like this Kavanaugh hearing, were you there? Did, is there any evidence to support any of this word or is it just talk you know and you like science or are you worshiping authorities have you turned this secular world into this uh, of government and science into another damn religion in art you know what what was the reason that we all have these songs stuck in our head from pop culture and what it used to be, but it's always been a tool used against the people in my time about classic rock and whatnot because there's more money made off of it than there are people like that actually went on to play music liked bands and could have gone on to make music in our local community to play guitar out in front of the grocery store would be a grand literal positive benefit to the human environment I'm not talking about you know just doing drugs and all that crap of young people rock music which is all designed to get us to think that's the only way we can be passionate is to be self-destructive speaking of self-destruction I want to share with you an awesome teaser trailer give Josh Reeves the filmmaker twenty dollars I wish I could give more but it's because he's doing what nobody else is doing. I mean, there's a very, very small number of people, and then we're all isolated, you know, watching this stuff on our phones. See, we got to get organized. We got stuff, got to show it to more people, got to create our own venues for intelligence and culture. But, uh,. He's got a teaser trailer to his new movie, Spellcasters Volume 2, talking about Hollywood spellcasters. And this is four real Masonic Nazi magic tool, but it's so dominated by people that use the arts and sciences to keep the rich rich and the poor kissing their asses. So... I want you to consider after you watch this video and give a dollar or more over to Josh Reeves. He's got his radio show, The Global Reality. Now listen, you know, Josh is not a perfect person like any of us. I can't stand his whining all the time about money and, uh, you know, these radio shows are just kind of a bit session but I understand why he's that way because he's telling you the truth that there's a big problem with this YouTube type of thing 
And it's that we are beholden to uh, a platform like YouTube that can kick us off. And then uh, we don't have that reach to the audience that the algorithms of Google provides to, you know, if you like this, you'll like this. So <clears throat> independent people, we need to stop worshiping authority and become authors. Learn how to organize you know, how do we get an app that uh, takes the place of Facebook, of YouTube? It, that all the evil is from us not figuring it out. So I understand that Josh is upset that he works hard on these movies that real, you know, the conspiracy, uh, independent research, independent media uh, culture. So I at least know what is quality versus what is not. So you can go to this web page, go get funding global reality, eleven year anniversary and operating costs. And I'm going to put a link to that. Now put your picture and your comment up there. When individuals stop wanting to worship or blame a for human behavior. I don't want to hear about your Kavanaugh hearings. That That is a Roman theater the Senate and the government, it's all just there to get you wrapped up in it emotionally and not have any outcome. You, nothing's coming of that. You care about women? I care about women. What is any of that doing? Is it stopping the sex traffic for Epstein's Island? Uh, and, you know, uh, they've got that, what is it, Prince Andrew or over in the UK? I don't know who's backing all this push about pedophilia in high places, but I hope it brings down this whole corrupt government. I really do. And then here we go. Without further ado, I want you to take a look at what Courtney has to say about what Dave Grohl's motivations could have been to kill Kurt Cobain. So I'm trying to show you that conspiracy people need to be connecting with popular culture people, okay? Because investigation and uh, media, and then it gets into, you know, all these things are connected, and they want to keep us all separated, but that's not right. So here is Courtney Love's own testimony I never have seen this I bet there's a billion people that are way more super big fans of Nirvana and all these bands that uh, don't know anything about it I I want to you know um, we should be able to not support people if there is evidence that they are screwing people around for money because ultimately that's what we're all doing here. We're all uh, taken advantage of by rich people. Politics. You know what I mean? I know that America consumes more than the rest of the world, but you know, uh, throwing a, a beating up, uh, destroying America is not going to help the rest of the world either. So we need to take advantage of our privileged financial position and start having our own government that is not owned by the corporation start bringing people to put them in prison and uh, yeah it's either them or us it's, it's time to stop acting like there's anything new here there's a class of people that thinks they're better than the rest of us and they've inherited money and they don't and they run all these poor people and all this communist socialist stuff it too so get smart
fucking heart. You know, I don't need to see a picture of Kurt, asshole. And I'm going to have you fucking removed if you keep throwing that up. I'm not Kurt. I have to live with this fucking go- shit, this ghost, this kid every day. Throwing that up is stupid and rude. And I'm going to beat the fuck out of you do it again. You know what? You weren't fucking married to him. I fucking was. You didn't get kicked out of a band by him like Dave. He did. Go see the fucking Foo Fighters and do that shit. moment in there is because two things happen tonight. This usually happens. Somebody holds up a Kurt t-shirt. It's, I think it's a compliment, you know, but there's one song, Honey, it's obviously about Kurt, okay? Like, I've never written a song about Kurt, maybe Northern Star, but like, that's it, you know, and Honey makes me cry. When we wrote it, it took us 12 days to write it because I kept crying. I couldn't sing it. So I don't need to see Kurt's face. Three tears of Kurt. I think it's be mean. You know, but when people come to me and say, I love Nirvana, I wasn't in Nirvana. However, I do up with my daughter. And because of tax laws, I have to give the money to the sister, Kim Cobain, and Wendy Cobain. So I don't understand what I was saying is Dave makes $5 million a show. He doesn't need the money. His father's a, his mother's a banker. His father's a stockbroker. And um, he's making $5 million a show. He's making things in the food fighters. He's making a fortune. I think credit card, and I don't, and last week he bought an Aston Martin on it, okay? That's taking, do you know that my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law's homeless. She lives under the bridge that Kurt sang about. It pisses me off that my mother-in-law doesn't have a front door in the winter, okay? Her boiler doesn't work, and her fucking, she has black mold. And Dave bought an Aston Martin last week, okay? So don't fucking tell me that the food fight, you can go like them all you want. Don't say you like them in front of me, or I will walk off stage, and I will never come back. I don't care how much more popular they are, because Dave knows that I know, that he knows, that I know, that he fucking knows, that I know, all right? So he didn't write one fucking note. He didn't even write the drum riff and Smells Like Teen Spirit. Kurt owns 100% of that publishing. Forget me, I make tons of money. My daughter, my mother-in-law, Kim Cobain, Kiwendi Cobain, and Brianne Cobain. That's what I care about. Okay? Do you understand? So fuck Dave.